Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. So last time we took on another boss in the jail cells, the champion. And good lord. I can see why they called him that. Dude was easily the toughest fight we've had thus far. I think he killed me four or five times. And he had a humongous HP pool. Holy shit. Dude took so damn long to kill. It's kind of insane, but hey, we killed him eventually. And then we took on our second set of proving grounds and got some more booty. We got a ring which leeches left, which sounds or freaking handy to me. And I hate these shield using bastards. Yeah, suck on that. And yeah, we, uh, after the proving grounds, we kind of found an area that I'm pretty damn sure we've been in before, so I think we've gone around a giant circle, so we... What the hell? Oh, damn. We got like a super slow-mo kill there. That was cool, don't know why that happened, though. But yeah, we, I think, have been around a giant circle, so we got to do double back, try and figure out where we need to go next, but... Problem being, because we went through a load screen, all the enemies have respawned, which is kind of annoying. Though I don't think there was too many on the way here. Yeah, this section I don't think we finished up in here yet. Be very, very quiet. Oh, you bastard. I kind of hate this dude. He's kind of tough for a mushroom man, has a lot of HP, and he hits like a truck. Dumps like a truck, truck, thighs like what, what? Baby, move your butt. Oh my god, stop setting me on fire! Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. I don't know if rolling puts you out quicker. I mean, it, it theoretically does in real life, but... Don't really seem to be doing much here. Fred Dust, you've let me down for the last time. Okay, so... Did we go that way? I... Here's the thing. I don't remember. It's kind of confusing. I thought this was a staircase, but I guess it's not. It's just... It's like a pit of doom. Well, all right then. I guess we'll check up here, because I just... Again, plain can't remember if we came here. In fact, I think we did. Was this where we died? I think this is where the Mushroom Man murdered us, and then the game broke. I think. So, if it is, then that means we haven't, you know, we clearly haven't finished in here, because we died, the game broke. I want to power you. Oh, I hate you. Ow! What the hell? What is that bullshit? Don't, no, 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 no. Don't kill me again. Not that you're the same dude, but you're the same species. Y'all look alike to me. Come on, bro. Let's go. It, really? That wasn't a parry? Oh, my God. I hate you. <laughs> and yeah, you guys, he's eating me. Oh, that's bad. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're very nearly dead, and now this does stuff. This, uh... This was a bad idea. In future, and I'm talking to myself now, don't try and parry for no damn reason. There's a lot of booty up here and some mushroom men. Now, if we be very, very careful... We can probably kill him. We also do have the ring which uh, leeches life. You never know. That might make all the difference. Frankly, I'm looking at my HP bar to see to be doing much at all, but... We can't but hope. We go... Oh, no, 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 no. Bad Mushroom Man. Right, let's go for it. Oh, no. Okay. He's not dead. But he seems to be kind of weak. Antanas is powerful beyond anything I have ever witnessed. He's determined to free this world of evil. He has... Wait, what? That broke the dialogue, really? Well, that's annoying. Why did that break the dialogue? I've been in my inventory before on the dude carries I'm talking. Okay, but I do apologize. Had I known that was going to mess it up, I wouldn't have done that. It was really annoying as well, because I was interested to find out exactly who Antanas is supposed to be. My inkling, he's probably going to turn out to be the final boss, even though that dude literally just said he's determined to free this world of evil. It's kind of, you know, a... Not exactly just a video game cliche, it's just a cliche in general. Usually, the main, you know, good guy ends up being the bad guy all along. And yeah, there's some kind of truck we're gonna go in here. I'm calling it. I think he's gonna be the last boss. Though I may be completely wrong. I think we've been here. Yeah, this is where we first entered the jail cells. Have we finished? I think we're done here. Let's get the crap out of here then. Holy shit, because, like, we came here thinking, oh, you know, it's going to be a little detour. It's been, like, three or four episodes here. Don't get me wrong, it's been productive. We got a lot of booty, we got some good shit, we leveled up a bunch. We got, uh, you know, we took on a boss. It was productive, but it was very, very long. Has the game broken? Uh, okay. Whoa. That was some major loading times there. And, yeah, that's the dude that one-shot me. So I can't sneak past him. Oh, get away from me, monkey man. I ain't got time for this shit. 
Get out of here, you. I don't like you. Okay, he doesn't seem to be alerted, and yes, we're gonna take a white buff. I already killed him. I proved my point, you know? I ain't got nothing to prove. I, I don't want to kill him again, because he takes forever, and at any point will just straight up kill me. But yeah, anyway, give me a moment here to kill these idiots, because we've all seen this before, and I'm going to backtrack to the crafter, and I will put a rune in our new staff of death. Okay, what up, crafty man? Wait, talk to me, bro. We meet again. Indeed. Okay, let's craft this shit. So yeah, we have some runes. Hey, we have a big rune. I guess we maybe got that from the boss. Oh! Okay, so let's invest some EXP. And then I think that should give us a better chance of getting a good rune? I don't know. Flawless power rune sounds pretty good to me. So yeah, let's stick it in the stuff and... Wait a minute. Was it just me or did the staff look like it had two slots? If it is, that's... That's like really good. Yeah, it has two slots. Aw, oh, diggity. I like that. Okay, so how do I put a rune in the other slots? I... I see it glowing over there. How the hell do I change it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got uh, a flawless magic rune and a flawless power rune, I think. I don't know about you, but that seems pretty goddamn good to me. I like that. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Now get out of my sights. Okay, so... We got a new weapon, we've upgraded it, and I believe there was... Seems to be nowhere to go over there, and this gate's not open yet. I guess we could try talking to, uh, Yetka, I think her name is. What up? We owe you. Harkin, you won't believe this. See? I found this stone tablet. It's incomplete, but it's written in the language of my book of lineage. Where does it come from? I need the source. How the hell would I know? And what exactly is the Book of Lineage? What's this Book of Lineage about anyway? It's the only thing that's left of my family. And I know that they had a vision of me finding that treasure. Well, right then. I'll keep my eyes open for more. I'll see if I can find some. Right. It wouldn't hurt if you made yourself useful for a change. If I knew where they came from, I might be able to translate them. Feed. Me. More. Okay, so it looks like we can go out there, but I'm guessing we have to... Well, it says destroy the Lord's Gate to Keystone, so I'm guessing that's the Lord's Gate. So we've got to figure out a way to destroy this, so I'm guessing heading out now. It was worth a try. Anyway, I will be right back. Okay, sorry about that, I have returneth. Let's go. So yeah, I know there's a doorway over here. This seems to be the only way we can go right now, so let's go check it out. I don't know what the bulls is going on in here. Hey, we found a chest. That's a good start already. And we actually open it. What's in the box? Wisdom. And, okay, so yeah, two pieces of wisdom, head and chest. May as well put it on right now. Seems kind of crappy defensively. Yeah, well, I guess it's got better poise and a little bit lighter weight. Maybe we'll wear it for a while when we get the full set, because it is medium armor, but... What we have right now... Not only is better, but also looks better, and that might be more important. Because let's be honest here, fashion over everything. Okay, so is there anything here? No. Seems to be kind of a dead end, but there are pots, or whatever they are. Are they fighting? That's really cool. There's like some kind of like, you know, it's like a cockfight, but with those weird things. That would be kind of cool if we could bet on that, but I somehow doubt it, because, you know, the rogue are not that friendly. I don't know if they're also Rogar, I kind of get the feeling the humanoid demons might be the only ones that are considered- HOLY SHIT! Bro, you were fighting a minute ago, what the hell? I did not mean to do that! That was the wrong button, but you know, I, I guess it works. Oh, and by the way, a few people have been telling me to invest in faith, because apparently the magical abilities are kind of good, so... Yes, when we level up, we'll start putting points into faith. It's probably gonna take a few levels before we can even get anywhere near decent at it. But we're gonna start. Because, you know, I think we're doing okay on agility so far. You know, we've got we've got a good weapon. We've got good stats, we've got good runes in it. We've got some badass armor. So, yeah, we're going to start putting points into faith. Maybe a bad idea at this point, but screw it, we're going to try it anyway. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I noticed that uh, that crafter guy, we can actually uh, put runes into our armor. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if you can take them back. 
I haven't actually checked it out yet. I'll check it out next time we go back to him, because if you can just take them back out, then seems to be no reason not to do it. It might cost us EXP or something, oh no. But uh, for now, since I'm not entirely sure how long we're going to be wearing this armor, chucking runes in it that could potentially just, you know, get busted and get lost seems like a bad idea, but... We'll go experiment later, but for now, we should be okay. We're, we're doing fine. But yeah, I, I did notice that you can put runes on armor, so we'll worry about that a little bit later. Like a weird throne. Any booty? Now, there is a lever, however. And a chest with like a weird red symbol on the front. I'm guessing that's a rune chest, uh, maybe like a big rune, because the white ones seem to be the small runes. I don't know. Oh, it's locked. Maybe we just need a key of some kind then? Because it didn't ask us for a rune, maybe it doesn't do that if you don't have the runes. I think we only had one big one, we just used that. The so yeah. Okay, don't know how to open that gate. It's gonna crap out of here then. Hello! Where the hell do I go? Seem to be just in a giant circle here with no exit. Uh... Okay, so we went in there. So, is there a sta- I'm sure there's another staircase over here. I think. And if there is, I don't think that's the one that we came down. It might be, but I don't think it is. It kind of looks similar. But yeah, geographically, this makes sense to me. Yeah, it's somewhere else because uh, there's an archer here. And you set me on fire like a dick. Screw you, buddy. Duh. Oh my god, I hate you. Jump attack. Yeah. Roadhouse. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Where's everything locked? There's like uh, a weird scroll in there, so we can probably get some more lore and stuff. Which... Actually, genuinely kind of interests me, mostly because I don't know what the hell's going on. And, you know, I'm one of those people, I like story. So, I'm interested to find out what's going on with the story, and we found some secret booty over here as well, apparently. What are you? Poison-resistant shard. That's kind of scary, that means we're probably going to get poison. The only poison I've seen so far is those big, giant bug things that create the little ones. So, yeah, maybe there's going to be one of those around here. But once again, I don't know where to go. Unless there was a third staircase down there? I'm thinking that leave that we pulled might have opened one of the lock gates, but it doesn't seem to have. And that one's shut from the other side. Well, what the hell? I am so lost right now. No, oh, there's totally another pathway here. Hello, buddy. Ow! God damn it. Screw you. Yeah, I can jump attack as well. Please be unlocked. Really? Okay, so that was a complete bust as well. So we got like, two lock gates. One that's locked from the other side as well. And there's another gate over there that we can't even activate. Right next to where we pulled the lever. And a chest that we still can't open yet. Which, assumably, we need some kind of a key for. So what I'm thinking... Is maybe the key to some of these gates is going to be in that chest. Or maybe somewhere else entirely and it's going to open like everything? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've explored everything in this area. I am really confused. Did I miss something over here? We definitely went this way, but... I don't know. Where do I go? Screw it, I guess we're gonna go back and try checking somewhere else. Maybe there was a door on the other side that I missed, but I don't think there, was. there totally was. Oops. <laughs> My bad, but hey, at least we found it. And we're in the eastern antechamber, apparently, and there's a fat archer down there. Well, shit, I think I'm locked on, so uh, yeah, let's see if we can shoot him with a crap claw of death. Aha! Uh -huh. And he doesn't even seem to care. Frankly, I don't really blame him, we didn't do much damage. Looks like maybe we can run and jump over there and get something, so let's try it out. Ooh, da -da -da -da. That was horrible platforming, but it kind of worked. Anything over here? Oh! Okay, there's an archer. That, you're not an archer. What, what the hell are you doing? Either way, I land on his head and he doesn't seem to have liked that. Ow. Come here, bro. No, I don't want to deal with you. Oh, I hate you. What the hell are you doing? I'm waiting to parry him, but he's not going to attack. Now you attack me. You asshole. Okay, there's another one right behind me. Well, shit. Now, these dudes aren't too tough, but you never know when suddenly they're just going to do tons of damage, like the mushroom people suddenly start doing. So, I don't know. He does reasonable damage, and there's also that other guy. So, yeah. This is, uh, this is not good. The hell are you doing? <laughs> I assume it's just to, like, confuse you or whatever, and it kind of works. Why well, you die? You're not dead? Really? Thank you. 
And you still trying to set me on fire, you son of a bitch. Okay, we got this guy. No freaking problem. Don't heal. There we go. C -c 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 Combo breaker. And we got... Uh, oh, I didn't pick it up, apparently. We got an energy shot. Eh, I guess they're okay. I think it just uh, makes your stamina go up quicker. Stamina, yeah, it runs out, but it doesn't ever really seem to be a huge problem in terms of a recovering, so... I don't know, maybe I should use them more, maybe they're amazing, but... Doesn't really seem all that necessary to me, and I'm lazy. So, yeah. Okay, anything over here before we go in that gate? Yeah, I think that's where I came from. And this is apparently nothing. Well, all right then. What the hell is that? I guess it's just scenery. Okay. Yeah, looks like there's nothing around here, but you never know. I'm blind, so I'm probably... This is a different staircase. Interesting. Hello? Monster... Ow! What the hell, dude? You immediately sniped me, you cheap son of a bitch. Okay, there's a Pokemon as well. Yeah. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Okay, so you're a weak aren't you? Good. Yeah, drink up and deal with Pokemon. Really, that didn't power you? That did. Suck it down. Oh, damn, that felt good. Okay, sit down. Hey, we found a scroll. Wait, what? Oh, it's an ancient plate. Why did it look like a scroll? That's weird. But okay, we got a quest time that I guess we need. Well, all right then. Anything over here now? Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so where does this take us? Oh, that's the gate that was locked. Okay, so does the plate go in here? No. Worth a try, I guess. Okay, let's check out this other staircase that we spotted earlier on. And, hey, some free booty. So what the hell is this? What's oh, an energy shot? I, I was thinking that was going to be something kind of amazing, but apparently not. It looks like we might be able to... Yeah. That's sneaky. I don't know if that's the way we're supposed to come around here, but it totally worked. Ow! Bro, I just want to parry you. Put the shield down, either attack me or don't, you know? Don't, don't be doing the uh, the whole shield thing. I hate shields so damn much, except when I'm using them. Here we go, really? What the hell? Alright, let's try and go break him, then just go to town. Okay, that went much better than the last time. Yeah, you fall over. Okay, so, hey! Ginormous chest. Almost didn't see that for a second there, believe it or not. What's in the box? We got a Lost Pike, a Pole Sword. That sounds like that might be an agility weapon to me, but then again, it's a sword, so maybe it's not. I don't really know. Eh, the damage is not great. It's not terrible, though, considering. Oh, it's a strength weapon, and we can actually wield it, which is a little bit sad, considering we're not a strength character at all. Also, I believe, by the way, there might be an item somewhere, I think, near the beginning of the game that allows you to respect your character, so... Maybe we'll try and go back and grab that just so I can kind of concentrate more on faith and agility than strength and stuff like that. I don't know. I, it's kind of hard to say. How do we get to that? Am I supposed to run and jump for it? Oh, son of a bitch. Looks like I'm supposed to run and jump from this angle, so let's give it a try. And, you know, not fall off the damn edge. Let's try and go more to the corner. Here we go. Okay. Now this time. Line up and... Perfect. Okay, so what the hell are you? A magic energy shot. Well, it's probably a little bit more useful than the other one. Because, you know, that way we can just spam the claw. The claw. Okay, so we still haven't opened that chest with the red thing on the front. Still don't know how to. I... We can't open it yet, right? No. Okay. Yeah, so I assume that there's a key around for that, which might also open some of these locked gates. But where we get said key... I have no idea. Okay, so as promised, let's start putting some points to the faith. I don't think we quite have enough to get 12, which is really annoying because 12 seems to be the cutoff point for most of the abilities. Yeah, 11 and like 3 quarters. But hey, look at the brat said, we're close to 12. We're not there yet, but we're close. And yeah, this giant gate that was previously shut is now open. I don't know why. I assume it was that lever that we pulled. I have no idea. And holy shit, how damn cool does that look? Yeah, there's a, there's a big fella out here kind of making me nervous. Hey, buddy, okay. And that's the game didn't like when I tried to parry you. I... Ow. Well, this is a... 
What the hell? You hit me on the ground? That, okay. This dude is, uh... A little bit dangerous. I mean, he's not like a boss or anything, but... <laughs> I would say probably the toughest dudes we've fought so far. It does take damage fairly well, though, so maybe we should just go more on the offensive side. Ouch. That really hurt, bro. Damn! Wait, what? What the hell? Um... Am I supposed to, like, execute you or something? Ow! Oh, great! He's regaining HP by punching the ground! Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. What? Ow! How the hell do I kill you, then? I, uh... Okay, we parried him. Yes! That did almost no damage. That's bad. <laughs> we gotta try using our ability just to try and distract him. And plus, I think it regens our HP. Lead it down a bit very, very slowly. Oh, shit. Kind of need to heal now, but I'm just gonna go for it. Go ham on him. No, 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 no. Okay, now we do need to heal. I don't want to do it. Okay, now, buddy, just let me kill you. He's doing it again. How do I... How do I kill you? I am straight up confused. I... Now he's doing it like full HP. What the hell? I... I don't... I don't understand. I... I'm just gonna run away. Cause, you know... Oh, shit. He's not dying. Hopefully he doesn't follow me too much, cause, oh, he's totally following me too much. Far too much. Well, well shit. And yeah, I'm gonna grab this, cause I almost missed that. And once we're here, we may as well just hit the checkpoints. Okay, we got some S's back. Well. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't know what's up with that guy. He seems like he just doesn't die, so maybe there's like, maybe it's like the whole deal with Seath or something. I'm sorry to keep making the Dark Souls references, but maybe it's like, there's some kind of crystal around here or something we have to break and that way he can't heal anymore. I don't know, I'm purely speculating. What the- there's an archer! What is this bullshit? I don't want to alarm anyone, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna die. There's an archer, there's a dog thing, and there's that motherfucker. Doesn't bode well. No, 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 no. Okay. Ow, ow, there's more dogs. What the hell? I realize it's not really a dog, but you get my point. Stop putting fire everywhere! <laughs> now I'm on fire! I, I hate everything! What do you want from me? I just want to kill the big guy. Just leave me alone. Stop jumping out of the way! Okay, this is, uh... He's a... Oh, gee, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm a lion. Okay, we gonna run this way and we're gonna heal hell. Oh, what the hell? I... We're just going... Yeah, this is... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, now we've aggroed a Pokemon. We're just going deeper and deeper into the Hornet's Nest here, and aggroing more enemies. I'll be honest with you, I'm panicking, because I don't know how to kill this guy. We need to get rid of this Archer, like, right freaking now. Don't ask us. Okay. We killed him. It looks like he dropped something. Probably not time to be worrying about booty, but, yeah, he did. I... Did I pick it up? Yes, I did! Okay, so it was a small rune. <laughs> now we got Shield McGee on us. Son of a bitch. Yeah, put it down, son. Just step away from the shield, and no one will get hurt. Besides you. That, uh... That did almost nothing. I, I, I keep trying to parry him. I would imagine you probably can. But, uh, the timing, not so easy. How did that miss me? What? <laughs> Shit! Okay, I... Oh, holy crap. We're alive. I'm gonna roam back to this again. I realize this is not going well, believe me, I'm well aware of this. I'm doing my damnedest here. It's the fact that this guy just doesn't seem to die. If he did, I could just wail on him and kill him, not a problem. Well, okay, maybe slightly a problem, but not that bad. But he just doesn't die. Which kind of throws a spanner in the works, and yeah, I see Shield McGee over there is coming at me. Holy shit. Why don't you die? What? Why did- Hey, we got a, a, a quest item key, apparently. That might unlock the doors we were just at. I don't know, but, uh... Why did he just die? What- What did I do that was different from the first- Is that just, like, a thing? Like, maybe you have to beat him three times? That's a possibility, I guess. I don't know. I am very confused why he died then, but didn't the first two times. 
Very, very confused indeed. But hey, we got a small bottle. We got a new key. What the hell is this? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was maybe a fog wall or something, but it looks like we can't pass it, at least not yet. Maybe we have to get some kind of requirement, then we can go in there. I don't know. I guess we're going to check up here very quickly. So what's up here besides, you know, a Pokemon? Oh, good lord. It's another Pokemon. And there's another enemy over on the left. That's okay. We can do a Pokemon, Pokemon, not that bad. Would be easier if I, you know, didn't scrub the parry. But still, you know, you can kind of just, you know, kick your shield down and just bash away at him. Usually, exactly, God breaks them. So we know how to deal with those guys. Holy shit. Oh great! There's a, another runny man there. I don't even know what to kill him. He just runs around. And apparently blocks all of a sudden. Uh-huh! And you're one of the kind that has a ton of HP. Yeah, it doesn't bode I probably shouldn't have crap clawed you at point blank range, but you know. Damage is damage. Body. Seriously, bro. Stop round round circles, you look ridiculous. Here we go. And we got some booty. I imagine that means we have a decent chunk of EXP on us, but we just spin it. I don't know. We got a sword called Rodden. I kind of get the feeling it's probably not any good, but check it out anyway. We probably can't even wield it. Hey, where the hell is it? Oh, it's right there. Eight damage. I mean, we probably don't have the stats, but that seems real bad. For the one who stood up for us. Okay, so maybe that's some kind of a statue puzzle or something. I have no idea. That might be a clue to something. I don't know. Did I just see a secret pathway here? Well, it's a pathway, it's not quite as secretive as I thought it was. But yeah, that's where we came from, and oh, hey, buddy. I'm gonna try and sneak up on him, but I doubt it's gonna work. It totally works. Yes! Backstab of justice. So I'm gonna kill him. But good lord, did it beat his ass. There we go. Okay, I made that a lot easier. What the hell is that tree thing over there? Okay, so, uh,. That thing looks scary. <laughs> like, ow! It shot me! It was you, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what shot me. Yep, yep, it was him. Okay, so, I feel like this giant tree... Did it even take damage? Okay, I think it did. Okay, so it's got like a ground slam. Well, oh, shit! Oh, God! It's mauling me! It didn't do that much damage, but like, damn. I don't want to go near it now. I guess we kind of have to. Ha-ha! Uh -huh. No! Okay, I think that was the grab. Is it dead? No, it's not dead. Okay. Not half as bad as it looked. Though having said that, it did do a grab attack on me and had a butt-ton of HP and seemed to be quite mobile, so... It was still pretty bad. And we found a scroll. It was just a matter of time before the space between dimensions tore apart. Threads of energy collide in time and space. Strong ones form links between dimensions. Most rifts are just unaccessible sources of energy, but others are tears. They become the pathways. Some appear like a whirlwind, like a storm that only a lunatic would enter. I have not traveled through a pathway myself, but some say that when you do, it changes you. What the hell was that noise? Oh, we got uh, a Lurker Thrust Greatsword. Yes, we probably can't will that, but we'll check it out anyway just in case. But yeah, when I opened that chest, I heard like some kind of a roaring sound, or like a gurgling. Sound like a monster, basically, so... Yeah, it kind of scares the crap out of me. Where the hell is this thing? Oh, there it is. Yeah, unsurprisingly, we can't use it. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'm gonna wait here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. I'll like it, and I'll see you next time for more Lords of the Fallen.